Well, and it tends to, as, as Scott knows, he's done a lot of work with like a, a certain piece, or John Barassi with the rabbit. We joke about kill the rabbit, right? It's, it's true. Everybody loves it, but he's, you know, you get burnt out. And so sometimes you can lose your lackluster on yep. pieces if you... That is, a, that is a trap. Thank you for bringing that up. I don't even think I had that in my original... Um, my original notes is indeed <laughs> the effort you're putting into putting a choreography together makes it really difficult to let go of that song. Yeah. But you have to at some point. Yeah. yeah. And you have to find the balance. It used to be in the old days in Europe that the judges were expecting a new song from you every season. Yeah. And I don't know how that was here. Scott, can you, as an well, uh, I, I, I experienced beat, competition flyer yeah. in the States? I beat some songs. To death, <laughs> but um, but basically, it was we didn't really have the same judges, so it was a, it was necessarily the same circle of people who would say, "I've seen this again." If I see this again, <laughs> so and so if you're if you're in front of a, somebody flying to it and expecting them to write a score down, you, you might want to be in tune that you been flying that song for like 20 events in a row and you might be boring your judges alone. Yeah, and <laughs> it's of course a very subjective thing. Being a judge, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be objective, it's not going to happen when there's music in play. Yeah, um, and you're going to get dot points at some point. That's true. I can add slightly to that. I know a general rule of thumb I have is as soon as I take a song and I compete with it at nationals, I don't compete with it ever again. Like Mission Impossible? Yeah. Well. <laughs> I love watching that, by the way. I love the routine, I love the music, so mm -hmm. you're not going to bore me with that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but once I've competed in multi-line with that, and once I've competed no. in indoor with Paint Black, I don't compete in indoor with Paint Black again. I do it outdoor, but it doesn't really work. It's a good outdoor, rule to have, I think. I really do think mm -hmm. about... And I'm, I'm a victim of it myself as well. I've, I've slowed down a little bit in competition in the last couple of years and, and, and flying in general, getting a little bit back into it at the moment. And, and I find myself too, like, oh, maybe I'm not so secure about my skills right now. That music is really good. It feels like that, that old sweater, essentially. Ah, one more time. <laughs> Why not? Because you know it's safe. You know the routine. It is, it is a bit of a danger, though. And... That's how it is. I'd like to add to that. There, there ain't enough new stuff to put to shelf the old stuff. I want to see rabbit again. I want to. I, I, I think people need to see that kind of structure and that it, when it works, it yeah. works. Baby. Yeah. So and when you can, a lot of times for me in the last couple of years, it's a piece of music more than that. that Real quick, are you talking about I don't see enough new stuff as far as <coughs> new routines for new flyers? Yeah. Or you don't see enough, you don't hear enough new music to justify getting rid of the old music? Well, it, it's, I think it's from an overall big picture at the events. I want to see the classics. I don't care. If, uh, I think people need to see the classics. I, I love that there's this many people here even thinking about this because I think people forgot about it myself. So there's only a couple of people. I remember John and the Rabbit. He's like, Scott, man, I really need to. I was like, no, you don't. Shoot the rabbit. No, you don't. If you don't forget, I want to see it again. I, that was one of the first events I saw. And, yeah. and you know, when I'm watching it and go, I'm about to puke and grab it again. And I smile instinctively, and it just happens. It's like, nope, do it again, Sam. Yeah. Sure. So, but what about John? How is he? How is he feeling about flying to the rabbit? And is he going to fly his best? Ten years ago, he talked about not doing it, and then he brought it back ten years later and won with it again. Twenty years apart. Yeah. So it's shelve it. Bring it back later. Well, after everybody has forgotten about it more or less. <laughs> I, I, I just think it's new people listening, watching. Yeah. I'd like to think we should not put away classics. I want to see what he do Mission Impossible and paint it black again with heart. So I do. I do too. Actually, I do. Absolutely. It's it's repertoire. I mean, I see you moving on. You want to do new stuff for the judges, but from the audience point of view. Um, I want to hear Sound of Silence. Yeah. I want yeah. to hear yeah. Tangle. 
Yep. Yeah. No, I don't want to see the sponge. You don't want to hear all new stuff. That's it it true. works that way. <laughs> if, I, if, I have, if I start out with mine, I, we're, we're driving up here and I'm going through a music. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'm speaking here. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're going through a music list, and, and I'm going through my very first, for me, structured choreography, which was back in 2000. I started flying competitively in 94, as I said, but I really feel like I only started thinking about it in 2000, uh, which, incidentally, when my level of success went up as well. Shocker. Um, <laughs> Excuse me. And, and, and it, was, it, was, it was Queen's Princes of the Universe from Highlander. It is pretty corny from listening to it now. But guess what? It makes me feel good. It's awesome. It, and I could possibly still fly it if you let me. <laughs> Watching you flop around with your hand in the passenger seat and saw the music was oh worth it. This is how you choreograph on the side. <laughs>